I started collecting equipment, you know, and um, getting little pieces of this and a mash ton and a, you know, a pot and, and I bought a, um, a kit and it came with an eight gallon um, pot, just real basic stuff. And, you know, a spoon and a bottle capper and, you know, uh, little things like that. And I, I brewed it in my kitchen. Uh, I, I did uh, a little bit of, I steeped some grain and then I, uh, I, I ended up doing the boil and everything and then cooling it off in my sink. And it was, uh, it was a farmhouse ale kit okay. and it was an extract kit. So that was my first introduction to it. But um, the, <laughs> the beer, uh, you know, everything went pretty good, but I did the traditional, you know, the first timers where they tell you two weeks in the primary that I moved it over to the secondary and um, I checked the, the, uh, the gravity level and it was, it was super low when it went in. So I added a bunch of honey to the secondary, you know, I'm taking on advanced techniques on my very first group. <laughs> and then I ended up, uh, so I kept it in the secondary for two weeks and then I bottled it and uh, I left it in there after two weeks. It just wasn't, I put it in bomber bottles and I think bomber bottles take a little bit longer than a 12 ounce bottle to condition. So after three weeks, tested it out and man, it was garbage. <laughs> it had, it had problems with it and it plagued me for a long time. Like, what well, what was the thing that I did to that beer to, to mess it up? And I, and after a, thinking about it for quite some time, I, I reworked like what I did and I, and this is, this is how I messed it up. So star sand, awesome sanitizer, odorless, can't, can't taste it. It's awesome. And you don't have to, to rinse it out. It's great. Mm -hmm. But BPW that you should really rinse out. Otherwise oh. it'll give you a super mean aftertaste <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my first farmhouse ale had this weird what is you know you drink it and it was had a lot of bubbles to it and then it kind of smelled and taste flowery because of all that honey and then you'd swallow it and you're like Ugh, i don't know what that was <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> tremendously bad but it was like it was it was bad enough where you're like i don't know what that was and i didn't like it but then you take another drink and it went away. But then when you swallow it, you're like, Bleh. so, you know, we, we, I have really good friends. They're not afraid to drink garbage beer and I love them for it. <laughs>